operating at maximum theoretical efficiency, whose cold reservoir temperature is 4 degrees Celsius, is 20% efficient. By how much should the temperature of the hot reservoir be increased to raise the efficiency to 50%? So they tell us E max is equal to 20% which is 0.2. Okay, so it's running at this Emax, and they say Tc in this case is four degrees Celsius. Four degrees Celsius, so putting that into Kelvin plus 273 is 277 Kelvin. All right, then we don't know what our initial Th is. So let's use Emax is equal to 1 minus Tc over Th. And now let's solve for what Th is to figure out what our initial Th is in this case. So we will subtract 1 from both sides. So now we get E max minus 1 is equal to a negative Tc over Th. Now we'll multiply both sides of the equation by th. So now we have th times E max minus one is equal to a negative Tc. And then divide by E max minus one. And that gives us th is equal to a negative Tc over E max minus 1. Okay, so when we plug in the numbers, we get a negative 277 Kelvin divided by our E max, which is 0 0.2 minus 1. So now if you notice, we'll get a negative over a negative and a positive value for T. H. So when we plug in these, the calculator will spit out 346.25 Kelvin. And in case you're curious, that's around 73.25 Celsius. Okay, so now we know our initial TH is 346.25 Kelvin. Now we're going to use the same equation right here, TH only now we're going to increase our Emax to 0.5 and solve for what our new TH will be. So we'll have our new TH is equal to the negative TC, which hasn't changed, so 277 Kelvin, divided by our new Emax of 50%, so 0 0.5 minus 1, and that gives us 554 Kelvin but they want to know how much we need to increase 346 by to get this new 50% efficiency. So we'll say delta TH is equal to a final of 554 Kelvin minus 346.25 Kelvin gives us a delta H, delta TH of what we need to increase the TH by to get 50% efficiency as 207.75 Kelvin or 210 Kelvin.